Okay, let's do this. So just a little background. I'm from Simf. Simf is my company. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Woohoo! But let me show you. We are Simf. We're based in the Philippines. This is our team. We're kind of wacky. But we do websites and mobile apps for clients. So we do a lot of projects. So we have a lot of projects over here. We have a lot of clients. And so for every single client or for every single project, um, we build it on App Engine, we put our code on Bitbucket, and someone has to do this. Fork a boilerplate in the repository, grant user permissions, create a GCP project, create App Engine application, set up deployment configuration, repeat these steps again for the test environment, and that usually falls on me, the CTO. So I've been doing that again and again, almost like once every week or twice every week, and it's really getting tiring. So, we also use Slack a lot. So, we thought, what if we can initialize and deploy GCP projects from Slack? Wow. So, we did just that. So, it's demo time. So, here we go. So, to make it more exciting, I'm going to play some epic background music that I got from YouTube, royalty free, just letting you know. Okay? There. All right. So what we do is we just type simfbot help. That's our bot in Slack. And it tells me all the things I can do, including this. Create project, project ID region, which will then initialize a project. So um, I wrote this documentation. I didn't expect that you will have to read it on stage, from on stage. So that's a lot of words right there. Don't have to read it. But let's try that. So I type create project. Let's go simf, um, next, demo, let's just put D, 19. Hit enter. And so now it's creating a production environment and a test project as well. And it's doing that. It's working the repository and doing that. Now, I ask devs all the time, what do you do when you deploy, you're lo waiting for things that are loading? Most of the time you just browse, you know, you open another tab, browse Facebook, and then 30 minutes later, you're still on Facebook. So what I tell people to do, you do push-ups. Come on. Yeah. So we're done. Shocks. All right. So the good thing about this, it's, it's it important. If it fails, I can actually do the same command again and try it. This time with fingers crossed. I'm assuming that so many people are doing projects in the code labs and I don't know, maybe that it's delaying. I really have no idea. I should do push-ups again. Okay, so second time it errored. I don't know what's happening really. It says permissions error fetching application. But if we go over here, it should have the, uh, the project in the console. Oh. Resource manager, projects get, okay. So it didn't create a project. I don't know why. Let's try to create a project manually. This worked when I practiced. Oh, Google should give me more quota. <laughs> so maybe we created too many projects, put too quickly because we're doing this on Slack, and we ran out. All right, so I'll continue with the presentation, and I'll just show you how it's actually supposed to be. A round of applause, please. OK, so let's just imagine it works, and I'll reduce my background music. So when we type, type a command in Slack, create project, it sends a message to our bot, you know, a Slack bot. It can be any Slack bot that you have. And then it sends a post request to our engine app. I'll go over the code in a little bit. And it acts as a coordinator. So what it does is first, it forks the boilerplate in Bitbucket. Then it creates the projects and enables services like Vision API, Data Store API, the APIs that we commonly use. 
And then it also is a configures a deployment for our deployment service that's also running Compute Engine. It's a custom script. Um, obviously, we can do this on you know, cloud source repositories and also um, cloud build. But for now, we're running it on a custom deployment script on Compute Engine. So where, where is all of this? It's in this link. And I'll go over the code right now. And I, apparently, I can't click on this thing. So I'll type it up. GitHub simfco slash GCP Slack in it. How am I doing on time? All right, so I'm going to go just briefly over the code. I'm assuming most of you are developers. So here, these are the things you need to put in. This is public and open source. It's, one, it's my first open source project that I'm releasing to devs like you, so please be kind. I know some of these are supposed to be in env and not committed, but I did. Um, so yeah, don't, don't put it in GitHub when you deploy it on your own. OK, so you have your, just put these things in. And what it does is when it hit, when you, this is what runs when you hit the endpoint from the Slack bot. So first, it does, you know, it forks the repo from Bitbucket, and then it adds the branch merge permission so that you know we have custom rules in the company that not, people can't delete the branch or people can't delete the, uh, the repository. That's really good to put in. And then we create the project in GCP under a specific folder in our company, in this case, same projects. And then we also do the same thing. We create a test project this time. We just add the word test at the end. So it's sort of like a convention in the company. And then we create app engine. So I manually add a, a, a sleep for five seconds because after it takes about five seconds for project creation. And then you can enable the app engine service. You can choose the region where you put it. You essential one, Asia, East two. We like that because we're from the Philippines. And then we also create the app engine test again. And then this is the part where we add it to our custom deployment script. Now, and then we enable data store and for the test project as well. And you can add other services you want to enable here. So basically, that's the code base. And it's available in GitHub. Feel free to improve it, make it better, and I hope you find it useful. And just imagine that when I did the whole demo, it was really amazing, and I did so much push-ups. And the thing about the push-ups is that at least if your script is slow, your body is healthy, right? OK. If your body is not healthy, at least your script is fast. So if you want to connect with me, I'm on LinkedIn. And I'm also, uh, my email is up there. I'm happy to share this um, with anybody who also wants to you know, use it. So that's all. Thank you very much. <laughs>